Nile River. <laughs> San Antonio River. It starts north, it runs south, it dumps off to the Gulf of Mexico. We're not going to the Gulf today. It's like a three hour tour. Yeah, it never ends well. Now over here to your left is La Vita. La Vita means little village, artisan community. There's 28 little shops back there. It's a beautiful place to wander around, look at some art, and perhaps even grab a souvenir. It was our first neighborhood. The Payaya Indians lived there, Spanish soldiers lived there, and German and French settlers lived there. You can go right up the staircase into the entrance if you want to come back and check that out later. Most of the shops are open till about 6 p.m. Now, this is the Arneson River Theater. It's an open-air theater. It seats the seats are carved out of the mountainside like the Roman and Greek theaters used to do. The stage is to your right. The stage is kind of popular. It was in the movie Miss Congeniality. They filmed the swimsuit competition right here. It took us three days to film that scene. The boats kept crashing. The bells are for the five missions. The middle bell bears the name of Robert Hugman. He's the man that designed the Riverwalk. He's also the man who made the bridges too low, and they nearly decapitate the boat drivers. Yeah, I used to worry about hitting my head, but honestly, I'm not that tall, so I just kind of go with it. About 5'10". Whoa! Yeah, six foot, game over. On your right is a fake waterfall. If you've never seen running water, get out your camera. The waterfalls are great. They help keep the aquatic life alive. Behind the waterfall is the Briscoe. Banana Swords in there. Pancho Villa's Last Saddle's in there. The Diorama of the Alamo in there. I like the sculpture on the right. The guy on the horse reminds me of Festus from Gunsmoke. Uh, some of you might remember that program. Yeah. If you guys are here tomorrow, the museum's free. From 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. You can walk in like you own the place. Plus, 4 o'clock's the hottest time of the day. Why not hang out in the cold museum so it chills out? Come back out and join the rest of us as we know. This is the Pressa Street Bridge in front of us. Pressa means barricade or dam in Spanish used to be part of an aqueduct. When they tore down the aqueduct, they built this street bridge. You want to stay dead center, no one bumps their head. This bridge knocked out one of my co-workers. It was a great day, none of us really liked him. They made him a supervisor. We all joke about how he was pumped up. Now, to your right is an iron sculpture. The iron sculpture is Father Mastinay's table. It's to commemorate the first Catholic Mass held here on the river. It was conducted by Damien Massenet. It occurred June 13, 1691. Now, the island that sculpture sits on is made from this tree. This tree's roots created the island beneath it. And if you look down, the roots make the island shaped like a heart. They call it Marriage Island. It actually frequents about 360 marriages a year. They say when you get married, it's a Montezuma cypress tree. They say when you get married there, you have good luck for that day. <laughs> now above us is the Navarro Street Bridge. In the 1800s they called this location Old Mill Crossing. Nate Lewis had a grist mill right here and it was the perfect spot to cross the San Antonio River. It was frequently crossed by Teddy Roosevelt and his rough riders. Good old Teddy. Now just around the corner the large red building with a green roof. That is the Bear County Courthouse. Built 1896, made a red sandstone and granite. Now, to our left, Tower Life Building. Tower Life Building stands at 440 tall. It is neo Gothic architecture. The center of the building was in the movie, uh, the center of the building is an octagon, but the building was used in a couple of movies. Now, the gargoyles at top are water spouts, and when it rains, water shoots out of them and ends up down here on the river. It's part of the building's drainage system. They don't work anymore. People complained about getting hit by the water on street level, so they plugged them up. Yeah. Now, where the first floor meets the second floor are these pairs of ugly faces. The faces are called grotesques. They're believed to ward off evil spirits and promote good luck. They do nothing. The building was in the movie Cloak and Dagger. Eisenhower used to have an office there before he became president. And you guys remember that first Ghostbusters movie? It has nothing to do with that building. <laughs> Everyone says, oh, it was in Ghostbusters. Like, no. It's a really nice building. Though. Now, don't look up right now. There's pigeons above you. And they fire when they see the whites of your eyes. Don't be a hero. Now, when you come out from under the bridge, turn around, look back behind us. And look up at the Tower Life building once again. People say when you look back at it, it kind of looks like a ship. 
They say if you squint your eyes, it looks like the Titanic. If you squint them really tight, you can see Jack up front. I like the building because Bob Hope made fun of it for years. He said it was the world's largest syringe. So I'm you'll get the point of that. Now, to our right, that's the International Center. It used to be a library. The bottom part's our marina now. And we have another marina we're not really supposed to tell you about at a secret location. It's around the corner. It's right in your The flood channel is about 20 feet deep. The flood channel was built because of a hurricane. 1921, we were hit by a hurricane. Flood waters were 11 feet higher than street level. About a third of the city was underwater. To prevent that from happening, the Army Corps of Engineers built this. We can drain the entire river walk in eight hours. During the construction of our flood channel, we had a crazy idea. They were going to take the earth removed from here, fill in the natural flow of the river, and make a sewage system. San Antonio Conservation Society refused to let that happen. It was formed by two women, Emily Edwards and Raina Mavercream. They got together with other civic groups to put a stop to it in 1928. I'm glad they did, because you wouldn't be on the boat ride. Yeah. Now, up and to your left is a bunch of locks. There's a chapel right here. People get married, they put their name on a lock, they throw the key in the river, and your love lasts forever. It's like that bridge in Paris, except we have a Mexican restaurant next to ours. <laughs> The weird thing is we have commitment issues, so we're using combination locks now. It's still romantic. Now, to our right, the jury flaws the hotel. This hotel used to be the Alamo Bank building, and the cool thing is they still have the original vaults in the basement of the hotel. So if you guys go into the lobby, you can walk down a spiral staircase to the vaults and check those out. Now, to our left is Main Plaza. If you can do me a favor, turn your body to the left and just look up the staircase. There's a church in the background. It's San Fernando Cathedral. It was built 1731. And if you guys are here tomorrow night, there's a laser show at the church. They use the church as a canvas. They project images onto it, and it tells you the story of San Antonio. It's free. So if you guys want to come back and see the laser show tomorrow night, you're more than welcome to. Now, right in front of us is the oldest tree on the riverwalk. That is a Montezuma cypress tree. That tree is over 400 years old. They nicknamed it the Sniper Tree. Before the Battle of the Alamo, there was a guy up there with a rifle. He's not there anymore. He retired. But it's the oldest tree on the riverwalk. And right here is Gate 3. Gate 3 works like a guillotine. The gate weighs three tons, and for two weeks now, the gate's been dropping without reason. I'm just messing with you. We used to scare you when you got underneath it. There's a metal door I'm standing on. I would slam it shut, the whole boat would shake, and I would laugh at you. We don't do that anymore. People get too hard. <laughs>